Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in today's lesson we're going to look at a cool transition feature that you can use in your PowerPoints to really make them fancy. So let's take the following example. So I've got a presentation here where I'm going to be demonstrating the masquerade ball and under the sea in ancient Egypt and I want to make when this loads, when this does the slideshow, that it really has some dynamic transitions. So what I'm going to do, this is the key to the step, is when I click on this particular slide, I've got everything I need in the slide and I'm going to actually make a copy of it and make an exact replica of it. And then I'm going to right click over here to go get the exact same background. I'm going to click on grain fill to get the background the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the transition to morph. Now, once I've done that, whatever is in this slide will then morph into wherever it is in this particular slide. So, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move this icon down here and then I'm going to move this one up to where that one is and that one is going to move all the way up. And so what I'm going to do quickly is rearrange these icons so that this one looks very similar to that style and these two are reverted back to that particular style. So I'm going to do that quickly. So I've done that part where I've changed the icons. You can see that the mermaid is now in the center there and those have all shifted down. I'm actually going to change this to under the sea and I'm going to get rid of this particular one and this particular one and I'm going to change this to other text. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this particular slide. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it over here. Get the gradient full again and make sure that the transition is also morphed. Make sure that it's still morphed. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing but move this icon over there and everything shifts down again. So there I've done that. The key thing as I said is I'm not adding new components here. I'm simply rearranging the original ones and recoloring them. That's the key step there when you're using more. I'm going to go back up here to this part over here and I'm going to get rid of these labels. And so basically I'm advertising the masquerade ball here but when I come to this slide we're talking about under the sea and when we talk about this side we talk about ancient Egypt. But because I'm using morph as the transition it's actually going to move the icons into position from slide to slide. So let's have a look at what it looks like. I'm going to run it now quickly so there's the masquerade ball now when I press to the next slide do you see how everything shifts quite nicely and now it says under the sea and the other text and then I'm press it again and now it shifts to the other side so these are the types of effects that you can make using the morph transition so the key thing is when you go from one slide you make sure that you make a copy of it Make sure that you paste it and then on the second slide set it to morph and move the elements on your page icons or text or whatever you want to do around the screen. You can even change colors and stuff like that and it will morph it from one slide to the next. So remember that transition which is morph. It's a really cool effect to make your PowerPoints look really snazzy. For more teacher tips, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a video. Make sure you share us with your friends so that we can help them as well. Join us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.